Seeker reached out to me and they said, hey, you want to try our saw? And I said, would I? So here I am out in the middle of the bush and I'm going to put this little saw to the test. It's ready to go. Let's get cutting. Seeker mini electric chainsaw, just pulled it out of the Amazon box. Let's see what's inside here. We got the instruction manual, max 20 volt lithium ion battery, charging cord, a little bottle of oil, lubricant, a little tool, Phillips head, and the saw itself. The saw itself is already together. Let's take a look at this. This is the four inch, 10 centimeter saw from Saker. Do not cut wood, which is more than four inches. Do not overpress the machine when cutting wood. When the machine is not used for a long time, please fully charge it and then store it. No use by miners. Do not touch the guide plate with any limb. It is forbidden to contact any part of the human body with the chain under the working state. Otherwise it will be injured. The English could be worked on a little bit better. Much smaller looking than it is in uh, some of the other videos, but it looks like it's all tight and ready to go. It's been oiled a little bit. I can feel that. I think uh, this will be really interesting. Let's get it going soon here. This tool here is to take off the nut so you can change the bar and put the chain on. And then in here, you can see right in there, there's a screw and that's what this is for. It's to fit inside there and tighten or loosen the chain on here. So I think that's pretty good. This button here, is the safety you have to have that pressed in to be able to start pull the trigger now people are saying it's not built for left-handed people well just use your index finger and your middle finger to turn it on normally you just press your thumb depress start cutting you, you can let go of the safety once you've started it so cool let's take it out of the bush and uh, show you how this is used Well, so far so good, eh? This is uh, not bad. I should oil it. It did uh, have a little bit of oil on it when I got it. But we'll put some more oil on the blade when I get back in a second. Here. I like that. So let's get this big branch here. Just like butter. Nice. We'll just put a little oil on. Gotta get a good grip on it, otherwise it skips. Nice. Let's watch that in action. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, we're out of battery. Just when it was starting to get fun. <laughs> it's not bad. So on the back of the battery, I don't know if you can see that light, we'll show that later maybe. Um, there's an indicator, this is showing one, so you'd think there should be some left, but I have been cutting for, I don't know, I'll have to check the video, 45 minutes, so. 
I've been testing out this saker saw for the last couple of days and I gotta say it does its job well for what it's built for. It just cuts seamlessly through these things. It does get a bit jumpy when you don't have some weight behind it. But I find the bits that have a lot of weight or a lot of stability, it works really, really well. I mean, that's awesome. This saw here, I'd give it a try. I mean, like I said, it's been a couple days, seems to work well. I'd want to give it a, a whole year and we'll do a review after a year. That's a hardwood there. Just went through that like butter. I tested this acre mini chainsaw over a couple of days. I like it. I'll be using this on my trips to the bush. The Amazon link is in the description below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.